Hi, I'm Rebecca, but I like to use my nickname, which is Ruba. And this is Goldie, she's my pet chicken. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to I Am Happenese. I want this channel to be a nice place where people come to relax and have fun. I have a few main goals I'd like to share with you. First, I want to tell stories. Like that one time I was at work and the manager came in from the back door and was like, Oh my gosh, you guys, there's kittens back here. Can somebody please help me catch these things? And I was like, mm, yes, I can catch those kittens for you. Or for me. I think yes, I would definitely be catching them for me. Yes, 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 yes. So I ditched my job, which was boring and had no business at the time. I rushed out the back door and asked him, where are they at, boss? He points to the storage shed and says, in there. Like he trapped them in there or something. I opened the door and found two cute little kittens. One was a calico kitten just laying there, about to die of starvation. The other one was black and white and had a lot more energy. I scooped up the calico, which was no problem at all because she had no energy. I tried to hand her off to my boss so I could use both of my hands to catch the more energetic kitten, but he was way too scared of the cats. His level of helpfulness in the situation was zero. So with one hand, I grabbed the other kitten, but he has four hands, so he used them to climb all around my body and he got away. He ran to the corner to hide, and again with one hand I grabbed him, but he squished out of my hand like water and ran behind two barrels of oil. Why are there two barrels of oil here? I don't know, I think it's used oil from the fryers, and I don't think you're allowed to just throw it away. I think a special truck comes to pick it up and recycle it. I don't know, I should do my research. Anyways, the poor kitten got covered in this oil and ran out into the parking lot. My boss started freaking out, oh my gosh, he's gonna get run over by a car, he's gonna die, it's my fault, why couldn't we catch him, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I just kind of glared at him and was like, Ugh, if you only had the courage to hold this one dying kitten, I would have been able to save him with my two hands, but instead I was reduced to one hand. But don't worry guys, I'm pretty sure I saw that same black and white kitten later on as a young adult, so he did not get run over by a car. And well, that's how I got out of work that day and came home with a kitten. Thanks mom for letting me keep her. So I brought that kitten home in a tomato box. Um, and I rode my bike home because I didn't have a car at the time. So I'm riding my bike home with this little kitten in a tomato box on my handlebars. And I bring it home to my mom and I show her and I was like, look, can we keep her? And she just looks at it and she's like, thanks, it's dead. And then my cat sniffed it and went, Shh! so my cat, it, she hated her forever. Um, but they, they did become friends. I also have to tell you the best part about bringing home that kitten was when we gave her a bath, we put her in the water, and she floated because she had so much fluff and nothing else, she just floated in the water. And we recently celebrated her second birthday. Uh, her name is Pumpkin Seed, but we never call her that. We call her Kitten because she's our little kitten, but she's big and fat now. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos soon. This was just part one. I wasn't able to get to part two or part three, but those are a lot shorter, so they should be coming out soon. Thank you. Bye.